there, friends. It's Ashley from The Candle Collective, and I want to avoid all of my responsibilities today. I'm having a low motivation day, um, hence why I decided to work on a puzzle, um, but then that got really hard, and it didn't feel like overcoming any obstacles of puzzling today, so... You know, I went out to get the mail, and I realized that I got a nice little care package from Candle Science, and so this is a welcome distraction. I would much rather film YouTube videos and share with you guys some scent reviews that I have, because I know how much you guys love those on this channel, even though, again, I'm pretty sure I use the same, like, five words over and over again, but you know what? We're here for it. But Candle Science released their fall and holiday scents, and so they sent them over to me, and I'm going to give you guys a first whiff with me. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, thank you, Candle Science, so much for, you know, even sending these to me um, unannounced. I really appreciate it. Um, I think that's super cool of you guys, and you guys are always, like, top-notch with regards to customer service and care. First scent of the day is vanilla eggnog. Fun fact, I've never tried eggnog, ever. Have you? Okay, this, you guys know how I feel about vanilla. Um, I actually don't really know what eggnog smells like, but I imagine it to be like rich and creamy and almost kind of like coffee-ish. I think there's like alcohol in it. It would be a wonderful scent, um, definitely for the holidays. Um, it definitely feels like a holiday vibe in the sense of like Christmas. Um, festivities, um, but it's definitely like a warm scent in the sense that, <laughs> um, in the sense that it's like a, um, this would be like really good in a kitchen. It's what I'm trying to use my words on. Vanilla eggnog. I like it, but you know how I feel about vanilla. Um, persimmon citron. Citron. <laughs> citron? I really like that. Um, I don't know if it's meant for the fall, but this is absolutely a fall vibe that I'm getting. Definitely warm. I almost think of this as like autumn harvest, hay rides. This is a really, really nice scent. I'm almost picking up a little bit of apple too, perhaps. I would definitely make a candle out of that. That is a definite. All right. Red berry balsam. Yeah, not my favorite. This reminds me of the time between Thanksgiving and New Year's, where, or Thanksgiving and Christmas, where you're like, Still feels like holiday, but it's not like a holiday, my air quotes. Um, it's not speaking to me. Very strong, though. I feel like this would perform very well with a hot throw, if I had to guess. Woodland snow. This one sounds promising. Okay, so, yeah, if you want, like, a tree type of candle, definitely Christmas, definitely in a New Year's, snowfall, really, really good. It's like a masculine snowfall. <laughs> Give it a gender identity. All right. Black cardamom and cream. Cardamom and cream. And sounds like it would be right up my alley. And it is. This, oh, this is good. This is like a masculine bakery. Like this is like, guys, this is really, really good. I surprisingly really like this one. It almost smells fruity. I don't know what cardamom is. I should probably know that. Um, but it smells like a fresh, like, baked good, but, like, with a holiday spin to it. Like, there's, like, berries in it or something. Probably not doing that one any justice, but I really, really like it. Black cardamom and cream. That one's going with the persimmon citron for me. Citron. Orchard pear. Probably not going to love it. I'm not a huge pear girl, Ooh, but it's surprisingly nice. Pear is obviously like the top, middle, and bottom note of it. So if you love pear, um, it's interesting because I did a pear and whiskey scent for my holiday line last year, and I kind of threw it in as like a Hail Mary, and it ended up being one of the best-selling scents that I had, and it's not something that I would have purchased like off the shelf myself. It's not a scent that I would have like gravitated towards, but people loved it. So apparently I'm missing the boat. I'm the odd person out and orchard pear is where it's at. And this smells like it would have a very strong hot throw. Um, campfire marshmallow. This one smells so good. <laughs> Usually I wouldn't be into a scent like this. I and mean, you know how I felt about smoked oud. 
So I do like that smoky sense. I definitely smell like the smoke. I definitely smell the marshmallow and it balances very nicely. I'm definitely into this one. If you were looking for like a Halloween smell, I feel like this would be really good like Halloween. So like October, November, gosh, you could even do like late September. I feel like this would be, this is my favorite one. That's really surprising because that is not usually something I would gravitate towards. Also, if you don't open your candle science boxes like that, then we have nothing in common. That's all of them. I got them all. Let's go through it again. Woodland snow, not my favorite, but a masculine snowfall, obviously. Um, red berry balsam. Not my favorite either, but this one would definitely be good in that time between Thanksgiving and Christmas, New Year's. Vanilla eggnog, exactly how I would think it would smell. And then orchard pear. Pear isn't my favorite, but if you want to pear scent, this is definitely where I would start. And this smells like something that would be a really good um, fragrance to mix with because it, it feels just like straight pear. Um, for the ones that I really like, the persimmon citron. Um, black cardamom and cream, mm, 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 mm. and campfire marshmallow was my favorite. Guys, if you want to check out Candle Science, you absolutely should. They're pretty much the OG in candle making supplies. Um, they have a ton of fragrances that you can choose from, and they every once in a while do some sales too, which is really nice, where you can get like their one ounce, just like these. Um, and you can kind of play around with like blending oils and stuff like that. Um, I found candle science to be really good in the sense that, like I said, with the orchard pear, like if you were wanting to mix this with something else, they have really good base scents that would be great for fragrance blending um, with the oils to kind of make your own concoction and your own unique blends for your candles, soaps, things like that. Um, Candle Science is also really wonderful with their customer service. Um, they've always taken care of me, which is love and care and patience. Um, even when I have just like random requests for things like I want to make tapered candles because I don't know, I'm on a mission to bring those back, I guess. Um, anyway, thank you so much to Candle Science for sending these. Um, if you guys want more fragrance reviews, all you have to do is ask in the comments below. My name is Ashley. If you're new here, I would love for you to sign up and subscribe. Um, I have a mailing list too where I send out tips and tricks and things like that. I try and release every week, but it's all about running a business. Mine just happens to be focused on candles, but I love to talk about marketing and business solutions and, and roadblocks and things like that. And I also do 30 for 30. It's 30 minutes for $30 and it's me and you on a Zoom call. And we just try and reduce your overwhelm and remove roadblocks that you might be running into, whether you're starting this as a hobby, launching a business, or somewhere wildly in between. Even if you're a few years into the business, we can always use that kind of bounce house, I like to say, of like bouncing ideas off of one another. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you love this video and want some more, just leave the comments below, and we'll see you next time. Bye.